So I don't know if everybody read the Huffington Post uh, uh, op-ed piece that, uh, would you call it an op-ed piece yeah. you wrote? I don't know, it's, essay, what do they call yeah, it? Yeah, it was a beautiful uh, reaction, finally, after all that time of everyone telling you you were pregnant or divorced or whatever Miserable. and talking about the tabloids. It was so eloquently written. It was so beautiful. If you get Thank a chance you. to find it, it, it was really... Amazing. Thanks, I, sweetheart. I'm glad you did that. I'm too. I didn't, you know, I did it at first really for myself, just to sort of, you know, we kind of write, don't necessarily send it. Or um, at least since I was a kid, I did that. And uh, I, yeah, I kind of hit a wall. I was pretty raw at the time. Um, just came back from a vacation. I'd, we'd have my, my mother sort of. Have sort of she passed, <laughs> and it was a really extraordinary experience in time. And so I was really thrown by all of because we landed, we came back from pretty much being nowhere. We didn't know. I mean, we knew where we were, but it was empty. <laughs> it's just, it's, we just got dropped down on some <laughs> island. Yeah. Um, no, and and we were mobbed like a scary kind of mob. Like I didn't know what was happening. I kept thinking like, is Kim Kardashian behind me or something? Like, this is very strange. And then it turns out that another wonderful photograph, which I've had to sort of live with for the last God, 10, 15 years of picture of me with a b bump and a circle around my stomach with an arrow pointing to it, in just this sort of disgustingly objectifying kind of way. And I was just fed up with it. And I think these these tabloids, all of us, need to take responsibility on, on what we in, ingest into our brains. Because just because we're women, we have a uterus, we have a vagina, we have ovaries, we need to, like, get to work, lady. As opposed to, hello, freedom metal. We, have, we as women do a lot of incredible things in this world other than just... In. They love the narrative. They love the story. They love that she's uh, jealous and this person's depressed and oh my gosh, I'm never gonna have a ch whatever the horrible little headline is. We just gotta break out of that and go whoa whoa. And women, I have to say, are are many of the authors of these horrible uh, articles that are written in these these BS tabloids. So we have to stop listening to them and we have to stop buying them because we have to support each other, especially at this time. To love each other, to support, and to be proud of women and of whatever your choice is in life. It's up to us what makes us happy and fulfilled.